They say that in Philippine elections, there are no losers, only those who are cheated. These 2016 elections are no exception, with protests coming from both national and local candidates, including a contender for the position of vice president. Good evening, I'm Tony Abad and this is Political Capital. Tonight, we take a look at the case of Marcos versus Robredo, try to understand the story behind it and what to expect in the days to come. Let us begin with the camp of Senator Marcos. With us tonight is Attorney Jose Amor Amorado, head of the Marcos legal team. Good evening, Attorney Amorado. Good evening, Tony. Now, let's begin by asking about this letter that you filed, a strongly worded letter demanding an audit from the COMELEC. Yes, uh, actually, it's a letter signed by the senator himself. Yes. And he is demanding COMELEC to grant uh, his IT experts yes. uh, to uh, conduct a system audit mm -hmm. of the election system. And he gave COMELEC uh, three days to comply and or to reply to his letter. Are you referring to the PPCRV transparency server system? Or are you talking about all the systems involved, no? including the Comelec main server, ladderized system? Mm -hmm. no? Well, actually, everything. Yes. Because if the PPCRB system, which was guarded by representatives of the political parties, yes. the uh, Smartmatic was able to tinker with it, despite the watchers in that system, okay. how much more in the Comelec server and in the other systems where there were no watchers? No? So we were demanding for the system audit of uh, the whole system. Now, when you refer to Senator Marcos's IT team, they're the ones who will be conducting the, the audit. Who are part of this team? Actually, I cannot disclose as of okay. now uh, because some of them were part of uh, the uh, PPCRV accredited uh, observers. Okay. So not only our team, but we were inviting uh, everybody those yes. who are interested in the review to send their own representatives so that the review will be conducted by all sectors uh, interested. Critics now will say that complaints you've aired mostly speculative um, and that's because the PPCRV tally doesn't match your own, you have an internal mm -hmm. tally. No? Uh, do you have a specific onus of evidence or uh, something that would prove you know, uh, that this is not really speculative? This is not speculative, it's very specific. We're not trying to prove anything here out of the ordinary. Uh, this was uh, borne out by the admission of Comelec itself, okay. that the uh, opening or the introduction of the new script was without approval, much less knowledge of Comelec at that time. So when Comelec said that, uh, and Smartmatic said that only the question mark changed to Enye, Yes. was uh, tinkered with, uh, we could not accept that hook, line, and sinker. We would like to know what else were tinkered with, okay. if ever. You know? okay. That's why that's the call for the system audit. Okay, if they prove that it was really just as they said... Then fine, then, then fine. fine. Then uh, okay. this will add credibility to the elections. Okay. Comelec Chairman Andy actually contends about this hash code change mm -hmm. you know, being uh, not really affecting the count. You know? mm -hmm. but. Do you have evidence or have you analyzed it uh, to show otherwise? Yes, preliminarily. It could be a, uh, it was an unusual coincidence that when they changed the script, that was the time, after the changing of the script, that was the time that the uh, lead of, of uh, Senator Bonbon dwindled down. No? Okay. So, is this a mere coincidence or yes. is there a correlation to that? That is what we would like to probe okay. in this system audit. Your camp says that Robredo's numbers are not believable, mm -hmm. that's the term, no? And also some from your own side said that the votes cast for Marcos have actually been counted for Robredo. Mm -hmm. uh, yet in your own internal tally, you're saying that the difference is only about 100,000? Yes. yes. Don't you think that's a bit too close to you know, uh, the difference being too close to say that it is unbelievable mm -hmm. that it would be swinging on the side of Robredo. Uh, we're talking just about these 100,000 votes. Not Tony, because yes. 
it's not apples to apples. No? Okay. Their basis or their count is yes. the result of the transparency server, okay. the unofficial tally. Okay. From the beginning, and they, they, they were saying that they are leading in the unofficial tally. But from the beginning, and you can uh, probe into uh, our interviews in the past, from the beginning, we were always saying that in our count, which is based on the official certificates of Canvas, yes. we are leading. Okay. So you cannot really, uh, you know, uh, analyze the two data on a, a apple, apple to apple, apple basis. No? Okay. The, the, the basis are different. But our uh, point is, in our count, it is based on the certificates of Canvas, which will be used in Congress during the canvassing. Okay. The unofficial tally will not matter. But the systems audit, you know, you still yeah. have that. Uh, if the results of that audit are not in your favor, what's your next step? I don't see any way that the systems audit will not be in our favor. You know why? Because the results of the system audit will be in favor of everybody. Okay. In favor of us, in favor of uh, Congressman Robredo, and in favor of the public. Because okay. the purpose only of the systems audit is to validate the claim of Comelec and Smartmatic that nothing was changed and that it did not affect the results okay. of the election. But when you say in favor of everybody, whether you win or lose? Yes, yes. In favor okay. of the truth, no? Okay. In favor of the so truth. That's, that's, important. that's our point. That's our point. Okay. Do you expect, do you see yourselves going into a, a drawn-out uh, legal protest, um, I guess, beyond the canvassing? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it depends, uh, but uh, what, is, what is the scenario you you, you I see? I think in the next whoever few loses in this election, yes, after the national canvassing, yes, will have to file a protest because of the very slim margin, either okay. by on the camp of Senator of uh, Congressman uh, Woman Robredo, yes. on the camp of uh, Senator Marcos, I can see that the margin will be very very slim. And. Do and that see, calls for a protest. But if there's a, I mean, how do you see a recount or some? Yes, uh, in, uh, a, in a protest, when you protest, you pinpoint the precincts and the areas that yes. you would like to have uh, the votes recounted. And uh, then the recount can begin. Okay, you don't see this being a little more complex now because of the automation, the technology involved? No? Sort of also, yes. Yeah. Uh, it can be more complex and uh, because in a recount, then it can be asked, who will recount? Is it the machine itself okay. again, or will there be a physical count of the ballots? No. Okay. Oh. So you expect yourself to be quite busy? Yes, in the future months to come, and okay. years to come. Well, uh, Attorney Amorado, thank you very much for being with us uh, this and, evening. Uh, thank you, Tony, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah. Claims have not been substantiated at the moment. No, no evidence has been shown by the other camp and uh, we believe that this is all hearsay. This is all an effort to condition the minds of the public. You're back on Political Capital. We now turn to Ms. Georgina Hernandez, spokesperson of leading VP candidate Lenny Robredo. Good evening, Georgina. Good evening, Attorney Tony, and thank you for having us here today. What was Congresswoman Lenny's reaction to uh, the camp of Bongbong Marcos' demand that there be an audit of the automated election? Well, as, as we know, she was actually interviewed with regard to this matter, and yes. she agrees to, to have an audit because she supports the transparency of this process, and she also would like to ensure that the integrity of the elections is, is protected. Okay. However, we've actually always been clear that we do not want any form of system audit to be a cause for the delay of the canvassing and the proclamation. Okay. So uh, first and foremost for us is to ensure that the canvassing process that is ongoing in Congress uh, will, pu will push through and okay. we do not want any delaying tactics to, to be played okay. in. Are you already seeing delaying tactics? I mean, is there a concerted effort to actually to prevent the canvassing as scheduled? Well, at, at the moment, I think we're still on schedule, but okay. we would like to ensure that the canvassing and the proclamation will go on as planned and that no delays will happen with, 
with the process if a system audit will be granted. Uh, as to the process in Congress, we actually recognize the Congress as the constitutionally mandated body to do the audit. They actually also do audit of the certificates of canvas, which is the official basis of the counts of the votes for the election. And so we continue to all to place our trust in, in that body. So you think Comelec should be the one doing the audit? The camp of Senator Marcos filed the yes. request for to hold an audit with Comelec. Okay. Uh, so it's up to Comelec to be the one to respond to that, to be the one to decide on that. But as for us, uh, we continue to recognize the process and now uh, we are in the National Board of Canvassing uh, stage where the Congress as the constitutionally mandated body be the one to do the auditing of the COCs to push through with the official count of these elections. Georgina, do you think there was any cheating in these elections? Based on uh, our own knowledge, uh, we have not had any any reports, any validated claims. And uh, unfortunately, it really is just coming from one camp. And yes. these claims have not been substantiated at the moment. No, no evidence has been shown by the other camp. And uh, we believe that this is all hearsay. This is all an effort to condition the minds of the public mm -hmm. uh, with regard to the results. But clearly, the results show that Congresswoman Lenny Robredo is leading based on the certificates of canvas, which is the one that will be used in Congress for the canvassing process. Okay. How about at the local level? Have you, have you observed any or, or sense any uh, cheating or at least uh, questionable election results? Well, none that we also know of, okay. but, but we truly, truly are more focused on the national canvassing, uh, particularly on Congresswoman Lenny Robredo's uh, uh, race in the vice presidential race. But we would like to actually point out that the Senate and the party list Yes. Uh, have already been proclaimed, which is actually uh, an affirmation that this election has gone by clean and the process was implemented properly. That's why we were able to do the proclamation for the senators and the party list. And we do believe that the same should be done for the presidential and the vice presidential, primarily because the votes come from the same ballot. The ballots are inserted mm -hmm. into the same vote counting machine. And if we trust that uh, the process was implemented properly with regard to the senatorial and party list proclamation, then the same should also apply to the presidential yes, and right. vice president. If the president. same ballots were the source it, of yes. the senatorial procl proclamation, then... That's correct. It's it the same be, ballot, it's the same machine, it okay. goes through the same system, and, and the counts are, are valid and acceptable, and, and we should also honor that for the vice presidential and the presidential right. race. Well, let's, let's uh, address some of these allegations coming from the other camp. No? Uh, no, the Marcos camp claims you have been getting impossible numbers as a term. How do you respond to that? Well, in fact, that is our question with regard to their so-called internal count. Because okay. our count has always been based on publicly available data. Okay. Uh, first, we based our data on the transparency server of the PPCRV at the beginning, at the earlier days of, after elections. But at around uh, May, May 12 and May 13, Comelec started to upload on their website the official certificates of Canvas from the Provincial and Municipal Board of Canvassers. And this is where we based our numbers. Uh, we simply did a simple math of adding all of the numbers from the certificates of Canvas. And there, uh, it is clear that 262,429 votes is the lead of Congresswoman Lenny Robredo. And uh, we're almost complete with the COCs. We're mm -hmm. only waiting for one certificate of Canvas from one municipality in Rizal, Laguna, which is about 11,615 okay. votes. So it's the only one left. Only one left and mathematically impossible to really reverse the lead okay. because uh, the, the remaining number of votes is very small compared to the lead that uh, Congresswoman Lenny Robredo already has at the moment. And again, we'd like to emphasize that the numbers are based on the certificates of Canvas, which is the same document that will be used by Congress when they do the canvassing in the National Board of Canvassers. Okay. Now, there was a specific question that was raised by the Marcos camp about the votes in uh, a precinct in Lamitan, Basilan, mm -hmm. uh, that Marcos... Uh, supposedly got zero votes and they said that this is statistically impossible. How do you respond to this? 
we we were able to observe that but yes. to be honest that is really that is not statistically impossible in fact we were able to find more precincts and votes where uh, all the votes went to senator bongbong marcos and that happened in two precincts in sulu two precincts in the Smarinas Cavite. Okay. We also found in Nueva Ecija. So it so really is not... So precincts where, where Lenny uh, got, got zero. zero. All also. the other vice presidential candidates obtained uh, no votes and Senator Marcos received all of the votes in that precinct. So uh, if they say that is impossible, maybe they could also explain why it happened also to their candidate. Okay, fair enough. Now, will your camp join the technical audit of the Comelec Transparency Server? Uh, yes. In fact, prior to the elections, there was already an audit of, this, of the transparency server, of the system. Okay. And we did have a representative there. Uh, and if there will be another audit, we will, of course, participate in this. Okay. And then how would you, I mean, as spokesperson uh, for Lenny's camp, how do you assure the public that, um, that there's really going to be no whitewash, no question, you know, that, that as, as you said, we, we want to make sure that everyone is um, at peace you know, with the, trans with the pro uh, process, it's transparent enough. Well, at this point, uh, that is why we always come out and explain our side because yes. there really is too much mind conditioning and, and vicious accusations okay. that have been thrown at our camp. But we are very glad to note that the numbers have been transparent as early as the 9th of May. We saw the results of the elections together with the rest of the country because the results were shown on TV, the results were uploaded yes. on various websites, and we were all able to see the same results. And with this uh, sharing of information with regard to the numbers, we do hope that everyone will remain vigilant in ensuring that the certificates of canvas that have been uploaded on the Comelec website will remain true, especially when we come into the canvassing. Okay. How do you um, describe this mind conditioning that you, you, you speak of? Is it coming through social media, through Mostly uh, through interviews from their camps as well okay. as through social media. And, and it worries us, it bothers us because we, we do not know what the next step is in this mind conditioning. Uh, there, there might be a plan uh, from their camp, but we do not want to speculate. For us, we just want to ensure that the integrity of the results from the Certificate of Canvas will be protected. And that is why we continue to call on the public to continue to remain vigilant until mm -hmm. the proclamation happens. As, as we all know, we've come from a very uh, vicious campaign season and yes. all we want is to restore the trust of the public in our electoral process and in our next administration. And all of these uh, negative uh, statements that have been coming out might make it difficult for the incoming administration to rebuild the yes. country and to move forward and uh, deliver all the programs and services to the public. Okay. Now, how does your camp feel as it approaches the canvassing for presidential and vice presidential? We're, we're ready for it. Candidates. We have copies of the election returns and the certificates of canvas. Yes. Uh, we, we know the truth. We have evidence as to our numbers. And uh, we continue to remain vigilant. And we want to ensure that we will be able to protect the votes of the people. Now, you are leading in the PPCRV count. Um, what, if, what if you lose in the official count? Will you contest that? That is actually supposedly impossible. Why? Okay. Because currently the numbers that we are holding on to are the COCs. So although at the beginning we used the PPCRV count, when the COMELEC made the COCs available to the public, mm -hmm. we started shifting to that. And so if the COCs will be used in, in the Congress, and it will be because that okay. is the basis for the canvassing, then there should be no difference so it would be in the improbable. results. improbable. It would be like a miracle or some kind of magical... Yes, and occurrence. maybe that is what the mind conditioning is for. But okay. uh, we, we trust in, in the process and the official certificates of Canvas will show the true results of the elections. Okay, and then now, I guess between now and let's look all the way to um, the 30th of June, you know, the official start. Uh, what are your, your steps? What, what is the Lenny camp going to be doing between now and then? Well, of course, we do not want to be presumptuous about yes. the results of the proclamation. But uh, 
Congresswoman Lenny Robredo will be ready and very much willing to work with this administration. Uh, as early as the campaign season, she has uh, shared her advocacies and her passion for really helping the marginalized and, and she will be looking at those things. But at the moment, we keep our eyes on what is at hand and that is the canvassing and okay. the, the proclamation. As fingers crossed. And we're looking forward to having Lenny with us here in Bloomberg Definitely. TV. Definitely. We, uh, we will make that happen. Very good. Georgina, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening and uh, best of luck. Thank you very much, Attorney Tony. Yes. Now that the votes have been counted in the most divisive and emotionally charged election since 1986, it is time to canvas the returns for the top two positions in the land. But those who claim to be cheated won't stop protesting, whether in the courts, electoral tribunals, or on the streets. And since 2010, what makes these elections particularly interesting is the infusion of technology in the form of poll automation. Resolving these protests is important to ensure political stability in the coming term. Will this be the way of Philippine elections in the 21st century? This is Tony Abad for Political Capital. Thank you, and we'll see you again next Wednesday.